G'day guys, how are you going? Just got a Pioneer camper that was brought in. It's another Onyx. Um, it's got the standard kitchen this time and it's had a bit of a problem with the um, gas, uh, like the quick connect connector was uh, leaking and they couldn't get the parts anymore and they sent another part but it didn't work and they had a crack trying to fix themselves. Not a good idea but I'll show you how we sorted it out. G'day guys, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. I'll just show you what we're um, trying to sort out on this camper today. Okay, so you can see it's had a bit of use. It's a, I don't know, quite a few years old. You see the, even the uh, Smev stove here, you can see it's been, been hammered out there. I mean, these are great campers. You can tow them out anywhere you want, more or less. Um, so they're a great, great camper. This is the, um, the fitting that most of them came with when they were built, and that was leaking. And so the owner, um, yeah, yeah, figured it out when he, he could smell gas, so he to, you know, not, not use any cooking and stuff. So they sent him the, the new, new one, but it, uh, it didn't fit, he said. He's taken it apart and tried to have a crack himself. I'll show you, I'll just take the, um, the hose out and this, this fitting, and he's just like taken the sink, uh, loosened it off for me. And that's the fitting there, um, yeah, the, the copper line that goes to the stove, okay? And that used to sit inside like this, and it's set on the outside. Um, but the problem they've got is that this has to be able to slide in into here and not hit anything, so and still be able to connect on. So he struggled with that. Um, so taking all the gas off. So we're gonna try, sort it out today. Um, just, I don't know, play it by ear and try and get this, you know, good solution for that. So it's easy for them to take off and easy for them to put back on and make it, you know, get rid of that pain point. And also for safety, you don't, you know, cause these things, uh, you can take them out and they can be so remote. You don't wanna have a explosion and, and burn yourself when you're miles from home or miles from a hospital, I should say. Anyway, I'll show you how we uh, sort this out in a sec. Catch you. Okay, I'll just show you what I've done so far because it's going to be hard to see later on when the sink's in and everything. Um, so you can see just here. Um, I don't like flares so much where you can't see them and stuff. So what I've done is I've welded this um, elbow onto the copper pipe here. Okay, this is still hot, so that's why I'm not touching it. And then I've folded up this bracket behind here and then just put a little you know, quarter bulkhead through, fold it up. And then you see on the other side here, it just pops out like that. I'll put some, um, you know, rubber pinch on there, and so you know, when you, when the, you know, when this is finally connected, it's just a matter of pushing it on like that, and that's how it will, it'll be. So it's a lot easier than trying to stuff around over here. You know, you, you want to be reaching because if the fridge is out of here or something, so that'll that'll be there. But anyway, that's what it looks like behind. Okay, so it's all in place now, all connected. See, nice and neat, and then you can go around in the back here. And you can see it just sits out like that. See the sinks on there? So it's nice and neat, just sticking out. And you can really see going back in there, nice and easy. Not hitting anything. So really easy to pull out. And again, really easy to hook onto. Okay, so it, obviously you've got to hook it onto your gas bottle. You know, you got the longer hose. It's probably better if you had, uh, you know, bayonets in the wet storage like I did on the white one. But anyway, that comes out. Okay. It's right here, you can see that, you know, it's, really easy to get onto it doesn't hit anything I always like to put these dust plugs in okay and that just stops it if it does fall on the ground you don't get any grit in there so you just pop that plug out of course there's no gas coming out of that because it's a shut off valve just pop it on there slide it on and now you you know you're connected with gas also see how it hangs down on that angle too that still gives you um, that it's not hitting the cupboards or anything like that so it really gets it out of the way really good solution to having it back here you know and having the issues that they've had um, so, and then to take it off, it's just again, you just pull that thumb down, look how easy that is. Alright, so you just put your thumb on it like that, flick it back, it comes off. So if you've got a Pioneer camper or any other camper that you, you know, might want to get rid of some pain points, give us a call, we could come up with a solution. Hey, thanks for watching, catch you later. So, we've got a large workshop. Now, many years ago, I worked as a plumber at a company called Hasten Shipyards over in Holland. Now they build these luxury aluminium super yachts. Now it was there I was taught how to TIG weld because I had to make up brackets sometimes where there weren't, weren't any you know, support for these pipes that I was putting in. So it's very easy for me to fabricate you know, brackets to hold bayonets or water connectors or something for your, for your caravan or camper to protect them from branches, bushes or just to su support them. I don't know why, sometimes I just find it hard to concentrate. So if you, like me, live in the best city in Australia 
and you would like an extra gas bayonet put in your caravan, or you think there might be a gas leak, or you just need the gas um, certified on your camper or caravan, or even thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind having a little hot water system plumbed in, or even an extra water tank, give Beautiful Plumbing a call. We'll be happy to help. Hey, thanks for watching.